Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video I'll be going through the round 17 tips and how I well I did and then also going through round 18 and tipping who I think is going to win etc. So before we get into the video remember to like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you know when I upload and let's get into the video. So as you can see here um I got the first tip wrong in saying that the Swans were going to beat Richmond. It was, the Swans honestly should have probably beaten them, but then got run over in the second half. And ultimately, I think Richmond kicked something like um, 12 goals, not 12 goals, 16. I don't want, I think it could have been 12 goals, 16. But let's check. Uh, let's check what did they end up kicking. Yeah, 12 goals, 16 to 11 goals, 9. So it actually was an onslaught in the end, and they probably should have won by more, but got that margin wrong. Um, then we move on to, so I said Swans by 25, and they lost by 13. So 38 points off, again, losing my margin by around in the 30s. So I might as well just predict whoever's going to win um, win the game and then just be like, this is exactly what's going to happen. Western Bulldogs was to Collingwood by 12. I said Collingwood by 14, so I was two off in that one. Um, West Coast against Brisbane. I said Brisbane by 47 after West Coast did show a little bit of bite, but in the end they showed nothing, and they lost by, what even is that, 81 points. So I was 34 off there. Uh, let me just write down how many I was off by in each one. I said GWS by 21. They ended up winning by 13, so I was eight off there. Um, Melbourne against St Kilda, I said Melbourne by 16, they ended up winning by 21, so I was 5 off there. Port Adelaide against Gold Coast, I said Port by 27, and I was ended up being 33, so I ended up being 6 points off there. So really good tipping outside of the two, um, outside of the West Coast game and the Swans game. And then here's where I went bad, I said, well I said Geelong by 39 and they ended up winning by 62. So I was 23 off there. Then I said Adelaide by 13 and they lost by 18. So I was 31 off there. And then also Fremantle lost to Carlton. And I said Frio by 21 and they lost by 53. So I was 74 points off there. So I had a really good round until the last couple games where they just stunk. And I ended up going 6 of 9. And um, so now I'm back down in that sort of two third or one third of the way through the comp, just a little bit more than that, or so back. Now we go on to round eighteen, and you've got Swans as favourites. How are they favourites with no Ruckman? I do not know. I mean, Hayden McLean wins a majority of his hit outs, but Tom Tim English is the um, out and out um, VC for fantasy. So I'm. I'm still going to tip with my Swans being a Swan supporter. I don't, don't think it's as bad that I must tip against them. I do think they still have a chance in this game, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do lose. So I'm going to say the Swans by 16 points. So if I'm right in saying that, the Swans are going to lose by anywhere from 14 points to 24 points going on my um, going on what my tipping history has said. So... Um, just need to write that down in case they do actually pull that off. Um, and then, so then we move on to another really, really tight game. And I'm surprised that Dunkley even got held back for this game, even if he's like 75, 80%, just because it is a huge game. And for that reason, I think I'm going to tip Melbourne because I don't think Melbourne's Grundy being omitted is as bad as Dunkley being omitted for the um, for Brisbane, so I do think that um, Grundy and being remitted doesn't hurt as much, and I think Melbourne just win this at home because Brisbane are suck at the MCG, so I'm going to say Melbourne by um, 22 points. Now we move on to Collingwood Fremantle. Collingwood's going to win that. Fremantle have like six guys out as well. They have like no backline anymore except for Ryan, and because Hamlin's playing, Ryan should still be alright for AFL fancy reasons. But um, Collingwood are going to win that. Even with Darcy Cameron out, they'll just play. Um, they'll play Mason Cox as the main ruck, and they'll play um, Frampton in the back line. I, I'm pretty sure, and they'll play Mixday as a forward who can ruck for thirty percent of the time, and that'll be that. And Collingwood will win this, but Darcy's going to put up a massive fantasy score, to be honest. Um, but Collingwood will win this by thirty three points. Gold Coast against St Kilda. Um, St Kilda I think will win that 
Um, Gold Coast have just not looked good at all, and they've duly lost two on the trot. And St Kilda look really good, so I think St Kilda is going to win this. Even though St Kilda had, and St Kilda looked good even with their players putting absolute stints in, they still did really well. So I think St Kilda will win this by. 25 points, even at Gold Coast's home deck. Um, Port Adelaide versus Carlton. I think Port will... Do I think Port's going to win this? Port have like five or six outs, and Carlton have um, like one out. I am actually going to pick the upset and think Carlton's going to win this game by um, by 17 points. Um, and so, yeah, I think Carlton's going to win this game. It wouldn't surprise me if I get that tip completely wrong. Geelong versus Essendon. Geelong won their previous matchup this year, I'm pretty sure, by 18 or 19 points or something. Or was it like 30 or 40? And even in that game, Essendon kicked really accurately, so I wouldn't be surprised if Geelong just run over the top of them. I'm going to say Geelong by um, Geelong by 26 points. Then you have Adelaide versus GWS um, at Adelaide Oval, and I think Adelaide... They need a victory at this point, being ninth place, as well as Giants being up there as well. So I'm going to pick Adelaide at home to keep their finals chances well, well in check. And I think they'll basically jump back. In, yeah, they'll jump back into the eight. The winner of this almost jumps back into the eight, um, or jumps into the eight, I should say, for GWS's sake, because they haven't been there. Um, and I think Adelaide get it, get over the line. I think Tex probably kicks five or six in this game. And um, so I think Adelaide win this by 34 points in front of their home crowd. Then we have North versus Hawthorne. And Hawthorne actually haven't looked too bad, to be honest with you, in the last little bit. They just lost to GWS, who looked like a decent side at the moment. They got smoked by Carlton and then lost to um, Gold Coast. So, I mean, they hadn't actually looked too good until that GWS game. And then North um, got smoked by Geelong, got smoked by Adelaide, had their bye beaten by Western Bulldogs, and also beaten by GWS. I'm actually going to go against... Um, oh, Hawthorne have Sicily back, and it's at Marvel Stadium. I think oh, I think I'm going to go with the crowd and go with Hawthorne this one. I do think that North will put up actually a good fight. And didn't they play... Oh, they played... Was it this game that they played all right? No. Um, it must have been a couple of rounds ago that they played all right. Um, Hawthorne, I think, will just be a little bit too strong, especially with Sicily returning. And I think I'm going to go Hawthorne by 17 points. Um, and then you've got Richmond will win this game, even though it's out west. I do think that um, West Coast Eagles probably at home will put up a little bit more of a fight. And I don't think this will be a blowout, but I'm going to say Richmond by 35 points. Fully expecting this one to be an absolute blowout as well, because usually when I say something, the opposite actually occurs. So those will be my tips for the round. And if I go back to the main screen, that's the video there for the AFL tips for and predictions for round 18. And I'll see you guys um, with another video today with my AFL fancy team reveal for round 18 which will have a lot of changes as i already know before team news that three of my guys are still out injured and obviously so i have 26 playing at the moment before trades so i'll see you guys in that video thanks guys goodbye